TBS Sports. Union on the ice here at the World Figure Skating Championships, 22-year-old Soviet skater Alexander Fedea, the defending world champion, first entering the free skating, which means at this point, he has a better chance than anyone in the arena of winning the gold. this championship is one of the most difficult free print skating programs ever done in men's competition. He's going to open up the triple lutz jump. Triple lutz, double loop. He does it very well. Next is the most difficult move, triple axle. And he steps out of it, but he recovered with a double sow cow. Footwork in a triple flip, and he oh. puts his hand down. There's two mistakes in a row. He's kind of opening the door for a good routine to beat him. Remember, Brian Boitano, Brian Orser, the Canadian, Yosef Sabovchik, still the skates. This free skating program, again, counts a full 50%. If Fideev skates it well, he will win the gold medal. Well, so far, he hasn't looked as invincible as he was last year. Another triple axle attempt. He missed the last one. Oh, and he two foots and puts his hand down. That's three mistakes in a row. His next jump, a triple toe loop. And he pulled four revolutions. That was a quadruple toe loop. He must have tried that out of desperation. After the three misses, he must have felt the only way to win this thing was with a quad toe, and it was a gamble that didn't pay off because he went down. No one has ever successfully completed a four-revolution jump in competition. If he had hit that, it, it might have made a difference. Him. It might have made a difference. It could have brought up his technical mark. He is not skating well, and he is leaving the door open for the other competitors. You said he was erratic. Fideyev misses a few jumps early on, then tries a quadruple jump, and then that fall, and very quickly the competition has opened up because Orser, Boitano, and Sabovchik are still to skate. Sabovchik in second place, Orser in third. Orser probably the best free skater of all of them, won the short and the long programs at the Olympics, and. Maybe this could be his chance to finally win the gold of the World Championships. Uh, I don't think Alexander's going to stop him. You can see he's not pushing very hard anymore, and he lost a lot of the fire in his performance. Four minutes is a long time to be on the ice if you're not skating well. Takes a lot of stamina. Alexander Fedeyev may well have cleared and paved the road to gold for Orser, 
Boitano or Sabovchik still to skate. I wonder what's on his mind at this point. He's got to be hurting. He made so many mistakes and then the desperation attempt in the quadruple toe loop. Let's another look at that triple axle. It goes up and you can see he didn't start rotating until too late and he came up just a little bit short and he barely pulled it off. Here's that quad, one, two, three, four, and you can see he only got three and a half times around, and there was no way he had a prayer at landing that jump. He has actually had several quadruple attempts, but none were ever ratified by the ISU, so he's done it before. His marks for ten... Look at the Soviet judge. The Soviet judge gives Alexander Fedeyev a five-nine, one-tenth away from a perfect 6.0, but the rest of the scores are pretty much the same. And you can guess at this point what those boos are for. That 5-9 is an irresponsible mark. I mean, he fell twice. And once... There's the Soviet uh, judge. Artistic impression. And a low of 5-4 from the Canadian and the Italian judge. Boy, this opens the door for all three of the skaters that are to come. And look at Fadea, he knows it. Alexander Fadea with the goal in the palm of his hand a few moments ago. And now it may well be history. Brian Boitano, who was fourth entering the free skate, is still to come. He has a chance at a medal. Don't go away.